welcome to transoft in the previous video we had a look at the gate pass section for the go down delivery now let us take a look at the balance part where we can keep a track of the balance or the amount payable for each lorry so let's click on balance so let us first of all search by date So there are two vehicles over here and both of them we can see they are having the serial number, the date of engagement, the arrival branch, the vehicle engagement number, the chalan number, the vehicle number, the originating, the originating point and the destination and the branch at which the amount is payable the balance due so as we can see the balance due for both these vehicles is zero because all of the balance has been cleared now over here we also have the option to export this to excel as like all other sections over here we have another add new button so let's click on the add new button so over here in the add new form we have the arrival number the date Chalan number, branch, the from that means where the vehicle had started from, to that is the destination, vehicle number, driver name, number of packages, number of packages that are received, the actual weight and the gross weight. Also, we have the actual weight that is received and the gross weight that is received. Over here we have arrival on that is we can actually give the date of arrival unloading on where we can specify the date when the truck will be unloading and we have an unloading go down so if we click on this we can see the various go downs that will be pre present and we can select the go down from there. Over here we have a remark section where we can enter any sort of remarks. Now let's look at the payment details. Under the payment details, we will have a section for the balance, the detention, the unloading amount and other miscellaneous amounts. And from deduction section, we have claims, late delivery deduction, TDS, MAMUL and total. So over here, we can also have the net amount. So if we go to Chalan number and select one of these Chalan numbers from the drop down list, all of these information will automatically be taken and uploaded over here. So as you can see for the Chalan number 1347 that we have selected, the branch is coming as Delhi, sorry, the branch is coming as Surat, the originating place is Surat and the destination is Delhi. The vehicle number is also coming which is HR63D5360. The driver name is coming which is over here as miscellaneous driver. Number of packages will be shown. Number of packages received will also be shown. The actual weight, the gross weight, as well as the actual weight received and the gross weight received will automatically be dynamically filled once we select the Chalan number. As we can see the arrival date, the unloading date has also been selected and under the payment details we can see the balance is taken over here and uh, there is no detention, there is no unloading or other fees and there are no deductions as well such as claim, late delivery, TDS, MAMUL or any other uh, deductions are not there. Therefore, the net amount payable is 58,000 rupees. All of this information as you have seen, once we select the Chalan number, it will automatically be displayed over here. That means all the fields over here will automatically be uh, filled by the software and no manual work has to be done by the company. 
So once we create on submit, it will be visible in our table over here, which is the uh, arrival part. So now under the action uh, part, we also have a few buttons. This is the view button. So if we click on the view button over here, we can select any Chalan number. So once we select any Chalan number, for example, 1004, all of the information will uh, be displayed over here as shown in the pre as shown in the previous part. So everything has been dynamically filled by the uh, software itself. Next, we have the delete button, which will enable us to delete the information from this table. And next we have the print part. So if we click on print, let's click on cancel. So over here, the whole lorry manifest will be displayed and it will be in a print ready format. Nothing has to be, no type of formatting has to be done manually by the company. Everything will be done dynamically by Transoft. Let's go back. Let's close this. So let's go back to the dashboard. So this is the part for the balance and the arrival lorry management part. So in the next video, we will be learning about the local Chalan and how we can manage it using Transoft. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.